Uh, but if you want the files for this project, go to nongeekbooks.com, click on Flash Tutorials, and, and scroll down, you'll see the quiz files there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the timeline here. On layer one, we have our graphic, and our graphic just holds the questions. So I'm going to go ahead and lock it, and you'll notice that all the layers have four frames. The red marker, I'm going to turn the eyeball off the score boxes here and this so you can see it. This is just a little graphic that moves down each number. So on frame one it's over number one and frame two it's over number two and so on. And the third layer is score boxes. These are movie clips and these are the ones that keep track of how many questions the user got right and how many questions the user got wrong. So let's let's examine the correct movie clip. Click on this. So every time the user gets a question correct, it's going to tell this timeline to go to the next frame. So every time they get a question right, it's going to keep going. And by the time it gets to frame four, if they get all four questions correct, it's going to say congratulations. So basically, on the on this movie clip's timeline, we just have the box graphic, we have the text, and then we have a simple congratulations at the end. Let's go back to scene one, and if you, correct, if you click on the incorrect movie clip, we'll open this up, it's pretty much the same thing except we don't have a congratulations. Because this keeps track of how many questions they get wrong. And you'll notice that the text is actually red now instead of black. Okay, let's go back to scene one. Now, since we, we're going to be controlling these movie clips, as we learned in earlier tutorials, we need to name them. So whenever you create a movie clip and you want to control it, you have to name it. So I'm going to click on the correct movie clip, open up the properties panel in the instance name field, type in correct. Click on the incorrect movie clip. In the instance name field, type in incorrect. And that's pretty much it. Now we're going to create a new layer. We're going to name it buttons. Now we're going to create the transparent buttons that go over each answer. Whoops, grab the text tool there by mistake. Let me grab the rectangle tool. Make sure your stroke color is off. Select any color and just create a shape over George Washington, just like this. Select it, go to modify, convert to symbol select button and just name this button. Now we want this to be transparent so we click on it, open the properties panel and you'll see color. Change color to alpha and make sure alpha is zero. Okay, so now we have our transparent button. Now we're going to open up the actions panel. And if you don't see it, just go to window actions. Make sure your script assist is turned on click on the button. Now the first thing we want to do is, since this is the correct answer, we want this button to tell the correct movie clip to go to the next frame. So we go down to deprecated actions and double click tell target and just type in slash correct. So we're basically just typing in the name of the correct movie clip. And you always had to put a slash before it. So just put slash correct and we want the correct movie clip to go to the next frame so we scroll up here, global functions click on timeline control and click on go to and type would be next frame so Flash is actually writing all the code for us, we don't have to do it all we're doing is telling Flash the name of the movie clip and then we just use these buttons on the left to tell the movie clip what to do that's pretty much all we're doing so now when someone clicks clicks on George Washington, clicks on this button, it's going to tell the correct movie clip to go to the next frame. So now click on this button and we're going to copy it. So hit Control C or go to Edit Copy and then go to Edit Paste in Place and drag this new button down. So now we have a button on George Washington and on Abraham Lincoln. And since this is the incorrect answer, 
we want to tell the incorrect movie clip to go to the next frame, not the correct movie clip. So in your code, click on the word slash correct. Your target window comes up and just type in slash incorrect. Click on this button, go to control C, copy it, go to edit, paste in place, and drag this new button down just like this. So now we have a button on all of them. And since John Adams is the incorrect answer, uh, we don't have to change the code because we're using the same code as the Abraham Lincoln. So now if we were to test this, before we test it, actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it just to show you something. We'll go ahead and test it. Now this is not what we want. And the reason this happened is because whenever your timeline has more than one frame, you have to add a stop code in the first frame if you don't want it to play. So create a new layer, name it Actions. In the first keyframe, select it in your Actions panel, double click Stop. It's located under Global Functions, Timeline Control, and double click Stop. So now if we test our movie, there, it's not playing. Now we're going to click on George Washington, and you'll notice that our correct movie clip went to number one, which is good. Now, what we need to do is, whenever we click a button, we want the main timeline to go to the next keyframe. Because this needs to be over number two after we click on one of these buttons. So very quickly, I'll click on George Washington, open up the Actions panel, scroll down and click on the closing bracket of the, la of the last set of code you did. Now we're going to tell the main timeline to go to the next frame. And we do that just by going to Global Functions, Timeline Control, double click Go To, and just select Next Frame. And that's it. Now you can highlight this code, right click, copy, select the Abraham Lincoln button, click on the closing bracket, right click and go to Paste. And same with the John Adams button, closing bracket, right click, and paste. So now if we test our movie and we click on John Adams, our quiz goes to the second question and our incorrect movie clip goes to number one. So that's pretty much it. Now if you want to make the buttons for the next set, you would create a new keyframe on frame 2 of the buttons layer. So go to insert timeline keyframe. Now we're going to drag these buttons down. Just like that. Now since the correct answer is Arizona, we don't need to change the order of the buttons. We can keep the order of the buttons the same. Click on frame 3 of the buttons layer, insert keyframe, drag the buttons down. Now, since New York is the correct answer, what we need to do is drag this first button up, move the New York button up to main, select the other button and drag it down. So basically the button that's controlling the correct movie clip is now over New York and the incorrect answer is main, so it has the incorrect button on top of that one. So create a uh, keyframe on frame 4, drag these buttons down, and since the correct button is already in the second position, we don't need to change them, so everything should be set. I'm going to go ahead and test the movie. And let's see, Abraham Lincoln's incorrect, Arizona's correct, New York's correct. I'm going to say 42. And up here you'll see that um, I got two correct and two incorrect. Now if I were to get them all correct, George Washington, Arizona, New York, and 50, I get my congratulations. <laughs>